What most parents feel with kids with fine motor issues is just a general frustration, but it's not with the child. It's that it seems like no one can give them answers to speed up the process and help their child develop further because it just seems like their child's kind of stuck where they're at. It can be a very long process that just seems never ending. And I think the reason for that is most fine motor treatments is just doing more fine motor skills. And I don't necessarily think that's the best route to take all the time. Like if they struggle with holding a pencil, they basically just get exercises to hold a pencil more or hold a pencil differently. Or if they struggle with tying their shoes, they just get more exercises to tie their shoe or in a different way or to hold a fork or a spoon in a different way. The same can be said for scissors or buttoning buttons or zippers or hand-eye coordination. But the problem is layers deeper than that. If there wasn't an underlying issue going on, they would have developed their fine motor skills already. We have parents all the time come into our office with the same suspicions and until they hear what the underlying issue is, then they finally realize why it's taking so long to get their child to progress with their fine motor skills. So if this sounds familiar or if this sounds like your child, what we ultimately look for in kids with fine motor issues are any neurological underperformances, meaning any area of the brain or the nerve system that's not performing up to where it should be. Most people think of the brain as it's completely healthy or it's completely injured, and that couldn't be further from the case. It's not black and white, it's much more of a functional scale, kind of like your muscles. Like, if I always did bicep curls, but I never worked out my triceps, what muscle is going to be really strong and what muscle is going to be weaker? There's nothing wrong with my triceps at all, but it is underperforming, and compared to my bicep, it is weaker. So we can all acknowledge that the tricep is not injured, it's not irreparable, it just hasn't gone through the proper steps of development and it hasn't been strengthened to the degree that it needs to be strengthened. So the same exact thing can be said for the brain. When we are looking for a primary condition to help with kids with fine motor issues, what we're looking for is any part of the nurse, nerve system or the brain that hasn't yet been strengthened to the level that it should be at. So I hope this fact alone really helps parents because your brain can be strengthened just like your tricep and your child is in no way in a permanent cycle of fine motor issues. I'm going to make a part two, but if you click the link in our bio, we have a free fine motor ebook as well as a step-by-step -step process of how to help your child with fine motor issues.